The latest QNED technology, 4K 120Hz support, powered by the new A7 AI processor 4K Gen 6, with built-in Alexa and cloud gaming straight from your TV. This is the new 2023 LG QNED Mini LED 86 TV, and I've partnered with LG to tell you all about it. But first, let's see what you get inside the box. And here it is, I have the 75 inch version here, which is huge, but it's also available in a smaller 55 inch as well as a 65 inch version and a massive 86 inch version. You'll probably need a big room for that. I have it on the included stand, which has been refreshed. It's a lot more compact, which I like compared to previous models, which were quite wide and would need a wider TV stand. But you can of course warm out this if you'd like, and it's just over three centimeters thick, and the thickness is uniform throughout, so it can sit pretty flush on the wall without a big gap. It has small bezels and initial impressions, it's vivid, sharp, and very bright. The QNED 86 series is what I'd describe as the upper mid-range offering from LG, which makes it the ideal balance between picture quality, features, and price. Yes, you can pay more and get an OLED, for example, with true blacks, or you can pay less for an LED, for instance, with low picture quality, refresh rates, and less features, but the QNED 86 sits nicely in the middle. So what is QNED? Well, it's the next generation of QLED and the latest LCD technology from LG, and it essentially combines nano cell and quantum dot technology, which gives you even richer colors than before. And in comparison to an LED TV, you get a greater level of detail and more accurate color reproduction. As this is a mini LED TV, it combines backlight with quantum dot nano cell color technology, which means it's very bright. Perfect if you have a bright room with a window nearby. And although the colors are not infinite like an OLED, this can get brighter and with AI brightness control, it can automatically adjust your screen's brightness to match the surrounding ambient lighting levels. Viewing angles are really good overall and it has precision dimming zones that deliver precise backlight control and an ultra high contrast ratio. This makes blacks deeper and colors more vivid for a more detailed picture even in the darkest scenes. And although you may see some halo effect if you try looking for it, it is minimized. The LG QNED Mini LED 86 is powered by the new A7 AI processor 4K Gen 6, which not only makes the TV super fast and responsive, it uses a deep learning algorithm that recognizes content quality and analyzes the content's picture and sound quality for automatic optimization. There's AI Picture Wizard, which analyzes like 85 million potential settings. That's a lot of settings. And it will find the best photo settings, including color preferences to match your liking. So you may not always have 4K content available, but AI Picture Pro has upgraded AI Super Upscaling, which will basically upscale low resolution content to 4K, and it uses AI technology to analyze and recover lost information from low resolution content. So even regular 1080p content looks really nice on here. We now also have more and more HDR content available. Lots of smartphones also shoot HDR content, and that's where HDR10 Pro and Dolby Vision support is ideal. The LG QNED Mini LED 86 uses dynamic tone mapping to automatically improve the contrast and clarity of your content frame by frame, and there is also filmmaker mode, so you can view movies exactly as the director intended by preserving the original colors, settings, and frame rates. And it can automatically switch to filmmaker mode if the content is detected. I've been binging on some Vikings episodes recently, and as soon as I hit play, it switched to filmmaker mode without me having to do anything. There are plenty of ports to connect pretty much every device you might have and are divided into two sections. On the right side, we have one USB Type-A port, a common interface slot which I have never used in my life, 
four HDMI ports, two of which are HDMI 2.1 and support 4K at 120 hertz. And one of these has eARC. There's also one optical digital out and moving to the bottom side, we have a LAN port. So you can directly connect this to your internet for the fastest speeds. There's a satellite and antenna in and another USB-A port. Now, I normally only use the ports to connect my gaming console because everything else I need is available on WebOS wirelessly. So we have the usual streaming apps, Netflix, Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, YouTube, etc. And there are a ton of other apps you can download from the App Store. Think AI also helps you use the TV in the most convenient way possible with personalized alerts, customizable recommendations, and smart features like different profiles for each member of the family. So you can enjoy tailored content and recommendations with quick access to your most frequent apps. There are also quick cards to quickly access apps and content that matters to you. And you can even edit quick cards for different user profiles to make sure your favorite content stays close to hand. Think UAI works with Apple AirPlay, so you can easily mirror your smartphone and Apple HomeKit to control your home devices right from your TV. And it also has Amazon Alexa built in. So you can even control the LG QNED Mini LED 86 with your voice. But this year, Google Assistant is not here, unfortunately. There is also multi-view, so you can have two screens active at the same time, either side by side or picture in picture. This is ideal if you want to connect an LG smart cam while taking video calls. Let's talk about gaming. So with the two HDMI 2.1 ports, you can game at 4K 120 frames a second, but you also have ALLM and EARC supported as well as support for Dolby Vision HDR to reduce motion blur and ghosting. There is also AMD FreeSync Premium, which can enhance your gaming experience by reducing stuttering and tearing, and VRR support to reduce input lag. There is also the Game Optimizer and Dashboard, which keeps all of your gaming settings in one easy to use menu and quick access to your current settings. Now, you don't necessarily even need a console to game on the LG QNED Mini LED 86. You can just connect a wireless controller and cloud game with services like GeForce Now and Luna. How well these games play will of course depend on your internet speed. If it's slow, then you might have to stick to your games console, but I just love that the cloud gaming option is here. The only thing really missing for me is Xbox Games Pass. The LG QNED Mini LED 86 comes with the Magic Remote. It's one of my favorite remotes, and although the design is similar to previous generations, it's so easy to use. You've got shortcuts to all the popular streaming apps, a quick voice command button, and I love that you can simply point the remote at the TV and instantly go anywhere on the screen. This makes it so much easier to type on screen if needed, instead of tapping away a million times. We have built-in down-firing speakers, which are around 40 watts and support Dolby Atmos. They sound really good to me. They get very loud, especially for built-in speakers. But of course, if you want the best sound experience, you'll want to pair this with an LG soundbar. And that is the LG QNED Mini LED 86 TV. As mentioned at the start of this video, I think it's a great balance between price, picture quality, and features. And if you're in the market for a new TV that ticks all the boxes without setting you back too much, then this might be the TV for you. I'll leave some links in the description below where you can also find the latest pricing. What do you think of the LG QNED Mini LED 86? Drop me a comment below, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, do smash that like button for me and do consider subscribing to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. There will be some related videos here in the cards. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time.